Good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the vlog. It is Wednesday morning, seven, sorry, 9, 17. Uh, I just finished putting the vlog together. I'm exporting it now. Uh, as soon as I hit upload, then I'm gonna zip over to IHOP, grab some a light breakfast if I can, and uh, just because I'm not sure what the rest of the day is gonna ensue. Um, probably do a food review later on. Tomorrow morning, Thursday morning, I believe I'm collabing with Natter and Aaron, and uh, we'll get those all done. Uh, and plus, of course, it's VidCon. Today is like pick up your pass. I'm not sure if the floor is open for VidCon. Um, I have to look at the schedule, but I've got any time and all day Thursday to, to do the floor at VidCon, Friday and Saturday. So uh, I'm gonna try and do as many collabs as I can. That's the whole point of this. Uh, the video turned out just 20 minutes long. Oh, he's trying to call me, hang on. Well, that phone call is kind of cool. I can't tell you right now until maybe Monday, uh, but uh, it's a very, very cool phone call. And as soon as I get back, I have to go and do something for a company. And then you guys will be able to see probably the, the, uh, the vlog on the Wednesday and then the video that I have to put up probably Wednesday, maybe even Friday, uh, you'll see that when it comes. So there's a little bit of a, a tease for the future. So I finally uh, exported the video, made the thumbnail. It's gonna take like two hours, man. This internet in this building sucks. So uh, I'm gonna go zip over to IHOP and take you guys along with me. I'm gonna try and eat something light, but we'll see. I might not eat something light. Let's go. One thing I don't like about uh, this thing is they don't have like a shear in front. So the only way to let light in is to just open the curtains and then when people walk back and forth, they can see you in your room working. And uh, I don't like that at all. Anyway. So, they need the shears in front of it. I love my car. One cool thing, uh, when you open the door, it actually shines a light of a, of a Mustang on the ground, which is kind of cool. A whole bunch of little cool features about that. I'll, do, I'll try and do a review of it, but uh, right now I'm hungry, and that takes precedent. I just talked to a creator who was waiting at a bus stop and I saw his badge and just asked him how long the lineup was. And he says like only 15 minutes because tomorrow will be the bad day to try and pick up your pass. So as I'm walking down here, I'm seeing tons of people walking past me with their badges on. So uh, I'm not sure, I think I'll get it first. Let's go get it first. So it does seem pretty busy but uh, hopefully he's right about the 15 minutes. Well, they've done some work on this place, look at it. That used to be the entrance to, uh, to the main hall, I think. Now they've changed it all around. Wow, they've done a lot since last year. Okay, VidCon has created this queue, but it's not efficient yet, so everybody's zigzagging back and forth like sheep and making fun of it with their cameras and stuff. This is hilarious. The first like seven that I went through, I just climbed underneath without pissing anybody off. Not budding or anything, just trying to save a bit of steps on my watch. This is silly. <laughs> Well, at least I'll be hungry for IHOP breakfast. This is what it's like. Hello. Hello. How are you, sir? Good. How are you? There you go. All right. Wow. It didn't work. All day, right? All day. Okay. Don't lose that. Ten? Yes, sir. Great. Right. Here you go. Thank you. Hi. Oh, wristbands too. Okay. Can I get your right wrist, yeah. please? Sure. Okay. Be careful, no, the right hands only tighten, they don't lose the Okay. Right. Yeah, just too tight. And you're all set? And the, 
This is just to... Uh, that will have all meat? of your uh, meet and greet stuff on it. My what? All of your meet and greet stuff. Oh, okay. I didn't do any meet and greet yeah, stuff. Yeah, I, I think you, uh, that will scan when you go through security as well. Oh, okay. So, Thank you. Since you're all registered, it'll, it'll go through, it'll scan green, and you'll be all set. And it's all registered to me, right? right? Right. So nobody else can use my stuff. Got it. Thanks. The new security is wristband this nobody else can use it so they're trying to I guess people last year were uh, sharing their badges and stuff and they don't want that so this is all the new security stuff um, creator pass KB Productions TV check it out subscribe and this is apparently is the brand new building that they were building last year and I finally opened their using it for this which is great Last year they made us go like way down to another building. Oh, stairs time. Three minutes maybe. I thought it was going to be like a huge lineup. There's a bunch of people standing outside the front. It's kind of scared me. But uh, we do burgers now. It says, I just want to do something simple, plain, Jane, nothing crazy. I'll probably do something just like that. Two eggs, bacon, hash browns. Ooh, we got sandwiches too. Of course. All right, my food came. I went with uh, the two eggs hash browns, one sausage, one bacon, coffee, juice, toast, jam, water, let's eat. Breakfast was awesome. My server, he says, oh, I, I didn't order toast, but he gave me toast because the way I ordered it, it was cheaper to get the toast than it was. Wasn't that so weird, eh? I hate that stuff. It's like everything should just be like, pick and choose what you want. And Because now I ate four pieces of toast that I didn't really want because it was cheaper. Anyway, so I gotta get back to the room, up, uh, finish, I guess, letting the video launch because it's finally uploaded, so let's do that. Now it's sunny, I'm gonna burn my head. Just walking through the the grounds of YouTube. I mean, of VidCon. They got food trucks. Stimo. That's good. Alright, this is part of the security with the wristband. Green light means go. So that's how they're... I'm thinking that's how they're keeping from... I'm not sure if it's the security part of it or they're stopping people from giving everybody else their badges or passes. So now you cannot go through without your wristband. Unless you take it off, but I don't think you can. It's a special security seal. Escape the night. Lisa. So this is where the, the big YouTube sign used to be. They, they put it there, the big play button. But they put it over there, and they've got something else going up over there. But uh, all the food trucks are still here, and they got a Ferris wheel. So very interesting, they've moved a few of the trucks over to the other side and they only have one, two, three, four, five, six, six trucks here in this area. Last year they had 12 or more and I think it caused too much of a congestion. So they put tables off to the side, keep this open a bit more. Good move. 
she's really nervous about this, so she can't just looks her but So there's the Marriott, which I stayed once, and the Clarion is down there. Stayed there the first year, second year. Third year was the garden, Hilton Garden, just down the way. But uh, yeah, none of the YouTubers stay in these, like none of the main YouTubers stay in these uh, places anymore. And there are ridiculous prices this year. Passing by the uh, Carl's Jr. is pretty tough. All he smells of char broiled burgers. This smell is just intoxicating. Al Diablo thick burger. Nice. This Roscoe's chicken and waffles. This is where I stayed last year. Hilton Garden Inn. And I think they wanted over $250 a night. Nope, not paying it. I was invited to uh, one of the booths here at the Hyatt by Jonathan Katz, who is uh, part of Clamicon, or is the CEO of Clamicon. So I came to the Hyatt, very cool hotel, grab some food, grab up here, check it out. Oh yeah, it's called Carnesada Fries, snack time. All right, I was down at MoCam. I'm not sure if any of you guys saw the live stream. I kind of screwed up and, and attached the wrong YouTube channel to it, but anyway. So MoCam was like um, a, um, an app that you can live stream to and it will live stream to all your social media. So you don't have to like live stream to one social media to the next one to the next one. So that was kind of fun. And I won <clears throat> a pair of Beats headphones. I'll show you. And I'm in a hallway here that has all the MCNs. And they sometimes have giveaway stuff. They sometimes have open bars and uh, stuff like that. So here's the Beats Solo 2, which is funny because I was going to buy a pair. I, I wrecked my, as you know, from my live show, I, I wrecked the pair that I used for my live show and all the bits of black came off on my face. So I was been meaning to buy a pair, but I just didn't know what kind of to buy. So I guess I'm just going to use these ones. So here are some of the MCNs. This is called Collab Crater Lounge. And they've got the backyard barbecue kind of look. Then we've got over here full screen. Oh, here's BBTV, broadband TV. We got the grass look. Basketball. Again, it's, um, you know, a lot of people aren't here still because it's Wednesday. Tomorrow it's going to be very, very busy. Got the Twitch Creator Lounge. Very cool, very twitchy. We got booths happening. We got food. We got carpeting, food, pop, coffee, nice pretzels, pretzels, lots of yummies. We got some cool. Oh, you can live Twitch back here. Check that out. Imagine that. Very cool. That's a cool setup, man. I think it's the same ones Ben has. Same headset. Very nice. I'm gonna steal one of these for Ben. Maybe if I can. Hang on. It's a Twitch patch. Would be cool? I think it'll be cool. Ping pong on a glass table. That'd mess you up. Jeez. They've got like living room setups. Very cool. You gotta love it. Well, it's uh, 7.30 approximately. Uh, I got to walk around through most of the areas. I think there's only one area that I wasn't allowed to go into. You needed like a wrap to get into Studio 71. And uh, I got to see Boogie. I got to see Fun with Louie, Matt Santoro, Philip DeFranco, and a whole bunch of other people. So it's, it's nice meeting those guys again. Great people to meet. <laughs>